I'm Lee Spencer with the Racing Boys, and I'm here with Chad Knauss at Hendrick Motorsports. And little birdie said you pretty much just got rid of the 48 team, and you are starting from scratch and assembling a whole new lineup of guys to work on your new project with William Pyron. Yeah, it's been a it's been a fun transition. Uh, there's a handful of guys that continued on from the 24 car from the 2018 season they're coming to join us again on the 2019 team uh but there's a lot of new players a lot uh got a few new engineers a couple new mechanics uh truck drivers there's a big big change there from that standpoint uh the 48 guys uh kevin and those guys are getting getting aligned and a lot of those guys stayed over to to work with jimmy and, and kevin which was exactly what the plan was which is great um so we're we, we got a whole new team we're building looking forward to it Who's your car chief and your team engineer for 2019? Tyler Jones, who was was an ex teammate of ours at Hendrick Motorsports with uh, with the 88 car and Dale Earnhardt Jr. He actually went to JRM and was a car chief with Elliot Sadler and Kevin Kevin Mendering. So when Kevin came over here, Tyler was was available, and I was like, look, I want to get a new guy to come in and help me run this thing, and Tyler's earned the opportunity to come over and do this, so we brought him on board to be the car chief on the 24, and he's done an amazing job. Uh, I like Tyler uh, back when he was working with us uh, on the 88 car. Back then, the 88 and the 48 were under the same roof, so we, really, we had a good working relationship then and was able to kind of see what he was capable of. He did a great job on the one car up there at JRM, and it was a good good pillar to that that organization up there so he's been good and strong engineering wise we've got uh brandon mcswain who came here from jrm as well and he was with the nine car last year at the xfinity side so he won the championship there with those guys which is fantastic and uh we've got matt piercy who's returning from the 24 last year and zach brown who's another engineer that's returning from the 24 last year so some some really good guys are you also putting input with the pit crew or are you going to leave that up to andy oh no i have i have i have a voice in that obviously but uh, andy i think has done a good job assembling this crew and quite frankly i think that coming out of the gate the pit crew is going to be our strongest asset uh the end of the 18 season those guys were really clicking well and uh and fast and performing at the level that they needed to be um that's probably the longest standing group of guys on in our group right now on the 24 car those guys have worked together they know their systems they know what it is that they need to do and they 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 get it done so i'm looking forward to working with those guys a lot as far as the dynamic between you and william you know obviously he's not your peer like jimmy was and i'm just wondering how are you going to look at your coaching style philosophically compared to how you work with somebody who you shared a 18-year relationship with well, it's different, for sure. Um, it, this is something that's going to have to evolve because, obviously, I, I know William from a peripheral standpoint, not necessarily being in there and competing with him. So I've got to learn him a little bit, uh, much like we're learning the team. Uh, I don't think – here's the deal. To be a good coach, you got to be a good teammate, period, right? And as long as you're a good teammate and you're invested and you're involved and you're understanding what the needs are of the team um, – it's, it's going to work out okay, and that's that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get the team to where they identify with one another. We can identify with our strengths, identify our weaknesses, build on our strengths, and and take our weaknesses and try to figure out how to change that to make it better, and, and everything will be fine. As far as William and I, look, we know that we're not going to be best buddies, but we can be the best team out there that we possibly can. Um, we've just got too big of an age gap. to like. I'm not going to go out chasing girls, right, and partying at night he's 21 man i can't do that anymore right i gotta change diapers at four o'clock in the morning so um it's gonna be a different thing but it's fine you know um i'm looking forward to that you know he's a student of the sport 100 percent uh which is kind of unique to me i uh, not that jimmy wasn't but he's just he's just different he's very into the data he's very data driven he likes looking at driver traces he enjoys watching the videos he enjoys taking his own notes he enjoys being involved in that which is a different style than what jimmy was so i'm, I'm excited about that to see how that works and how that works with my style what has surprised you the most about william in the short time you've had to spend with him he is he's a lot more aggressive than what i thought um 
he's, he appears to be very tenacious, which I'm, I'm really curious to see how that evolves on the racetrack. I really am. I'm excited about that. Uh, he's very, very blunt, and he's very certain on what it is that he's looking for himself. Now, he's not going to tell you what springs he wants in the car, but he's going to tell you what he feels he needs, right? And then it's up to us to give him that. Uh, so I've been really impressed with that. It's been pretty fun to, to watch. You know, when he stepped on campus here, uh, a year ago, I mean, this place is massive, right? It's intimidating to anybody, and I think he was a little bit reserved. Um, now, a year under his belt, I think he's he feels more comfortable and he's willing to express himself and feels like that he's a big part of this team. So, uh, it, it's been a lot of fun to watch his grow. How has your life work balance changed since from the days when Philippe had to kick you out of the work <laughs> out of the shop and, and send you home? <laughs> it's significantly different for sure. I mean, I'm a little bit older, right? It's just different. Um, but I had to learn, too. Um, I never really understood in my younger years, where you mentioned Philippe, why people went home, right? Well, I mean, the reason they went home is because they had families, right? They had wives or girlfriends or children or things that they needed to do. Um, I didn't understand that years and years and years ago. But there was also a bit of a void in my life, too. Uh, now, uh, being married to Brooke and having Kipling and understanding that... Um, Trust me, I still work a lot. There's no doubt. But I do try to get home before 7 so I can make sure I see him before I go to bed, which I think that's reasonable, right? So um, it's been a lot of fun. It's it's good. I think it's a part of my life that uh, I always wanted. I was always extremely envious of the people that had solid families once I got a little bit older. Like I was, you know, always loved what Jimmy and Shani had with the two girls, uh, always wanted to have that. And now that I've got that, I think it's only made me better and a better leader. Well, we really are excited about 2019 and seeing what you guys are capable of doing, and good luck the rest of the season. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate it.